Hi, my name is Mark Panett, and on behalf of Junior Achievement, or JA, we'd like to thank the students and the teachers for letting us into the classroom. Junior Achievement runs a variety of programs, and it is a global nonprofit organization with the goal of helping youth learn about entrepreneurship, learn about financial literacy, and get ready for the workforce. Personally, myself, I did, I, I did have an experience with Junior Achievement when I was in high school, and it was fantastic and taught me a lot about creating a company and the value of money. And today, and throughout my life, I'm going to share some experiences as a financial advisor and professional and part of my own life to share with you to lead you on the right path to financial success. Very excited to talk about the cost of credit today. And when we talk about cost of credit, we mean interest. And what is interest? Well, interest is the cost of borrowing money. And you go to a financial institution, whether it's a bank or a credit union, and you need money, they will lend you money and they will charge you interest. And that is the cost of borrowing money and that's how the financial institution makes a profit because they are taking a risk in lending money to the individuals and they need a little return on their money as well as make some profits. Now, for example, if you borrow $10,000, the interest on that loan could be 5%. So every year after a whole year, you would expect to pay $500 of interest and you'd have to repay back your loan. But all loans are not the same. You want to be conscious about the term of a loan. And the term of a loan is the amount of time that that loan has to be paid off. And it could be one year, where we use the example of the $10,000, and at 5% interest, your cost of interest interest is $500, but the term of the loan can also be two years, three years, five years, or more. And we talked about interest and we talked about terms of loans. And the important part is to know what you're getting into. You can take a loan, you can get a line of credit, and you can borrow. And it's important to know what your overall cost is. So for example, instead of using that one year example, let's use a five year example where you borrow that $10,000 your interest is 5%. And remember, all throughout the year, that interest is also building on interest. So as long as you make your payments on time and things are good, at the end of five years, that loan will be gone. But what is the true cost of interest at 5%? Well, if you calculate it, there is about $2,630 of interest at the end of five years on a $10,000 loan. So your total cost of borrowing $10,000 is 12,630. Keep that in mind when you're borrowing money. The cost of credit or the interest rates can depend on the type of loan you take. It can also depend on the interest rate, obviously, and the amount of time you have to pay back that loan. It's imp very important to consider the cost of credit when you're borrowing money. You should always compare the cost of credit at different lenders and even have different financial lending products to figure out what's the best deal for you, your specific circumstances. For example, a line of credit may have a lower interest rate than a credit card, and a personal loan might have a higher interest rate than a car loan. You should also consider the impact of the loan on your credit history and your credit score, as that can be another cost, although maybe not financial, but borrowing money. I hope this helps you understand borrowing money and the costs that go with it. If you'd like more information on finances, you can visit jacampus.org for more self-directed, free programs like personal finance or economics for success. Thank you very much.